What's up guys? Welcome to this video how to buy something at a garage sale and um, post it and sell it and flip it. This is my uh, this is an episode of my little series called Getting Gary V. This is my story. The story of how I met Gary V. And uh, it's, it's pretty, the, the series is pretty obvious, right? You do a bunch of stuff to get the attention of Gary V. Last time I did something online because he likes wine, this time I'm doing something else that um, he suggested, which is actually pretty smart. I don't know if you guys have tried this before. I know some of you have, some of you are thinking about it. You watch his videos, he has this thing called the Flip Challenge. And the idea behind it is to earn a little bit of extra revenues. Who, who doesn't like extra revenue? I don't know, everybody does. So I was like, you know, let me let me give it a shot. I'm building a business. I'd like to have more money to invest in the things that I think are smart when it comes to that business. So let, let's give it a shot. And so I've been buying some stuff and I just actually had my first two sales. I shipped them out yesterday. Um, I probably, I took, a, I took like four days to send it out. So hopefully I still get a good rating, but I'm starting to get in the flow of it. I spent too much money on boxes and so that cut my profit in half but I ended up making still about off those two things and I have some other stuff that I haven't sold but I have ended up making about like three times I, I bought two things for a dollar basically and then um, I was able to sell them for more than that anyway so today I'm gonna be doing something I had one extra thing that I just bought uh, I went to go, I was in this small little place called Crystal City and there someone was having a garage sale on Monday and I had missed my Saturday garage sale window so I stopped by their garage sale and I bought this little thing. I have no idea what it is so I'm just going to tell you I bought it for a dollar, she had it for two dollars as Gary Vee would say, she didn't get it. Um, I, I, <laughs> she wanted two dollars, I paid a dollar for it um, and it's right here. Tube Heroes, Skylanders. Um, so I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna show you basically top to bottom how I would um, go about listing it. So this is how to, cause I'm not showing you how to buy it. That's pretty easy. You go to the garage sale and you pick up the thing. But then after you pick it up and you get a, try to get a good deal on it. And Gary Vee's been saying a lot about, based off watching his stuff and then you know who I am, I figured, um, I, I think he, some stuff he said I figured toys would be good so I've been buying toys not really toys I've been buying stuffed animals and I've been buying mugs um, and I also bought a couple board games the things I sold was a stuffed animal and a board game so um, anyway so I'm going to I use Mercari to sell my stuff so I'm gonna be listing this on Mercari for you to see so you can see how that works so let's look it up first first I'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see um, what I got going on, and then after that, let's see, screen share on. So let's go, let's go ahead and look this thing up. So I just go straight into Tube, it says Tube Heroes. I'm sure you could like type in the ISBN and all that kind of stuff, but I figure if I type in Tube Heroes Sky into Google, uh, and then I go to I go to Google Shopping. I'm pretty lackadaisical with it. I just look it up right away and I see. So this is pretty cool, right? I bought this thing for a dollar. It's unopened. She had some that were opened. I skipped over that. I was like, don't try to get me, lady. And I bought one that was unopened. And I see some. There's nine ninety nine. That's not bad. I bought it for a dollar. This guy's selling the same thing for two ninety nine. Um, so this guy has it for $3.90 and it looks like it's the same thing. Uh, the packaging is a little scruffled, but um, I don't know. So this guy's selling this one and one other thing on Mercari for $3, which is weird because I thought on Mercari you could only sell things as low as $5, but he seems to be selling it for $3. Okay, so I'm getting that basically this thing probably isn't worth a whole bunch of money. So right now, I'm kind of listing things in a certain kind of way, and this is kind of be weird, but I'm selling everything in my store 
for seven dollars now if it's something cheap like this and i don't buy stuff i mean if i found something that was worth seventy dollars obviously i wouldn't list it for seven dollars but most of the things i'm buying are in that range where they could be worth from probably like five to twenty dollars and so i'm just listing everything for seven dollars if it is worth i think more in the um, ten to twenty dollar range I'm selling for seven dollars so that it sells faster and people buy it then what I do is I do um, they have to pay for shipping on Mercari it's super easy they pay for shipping I pick up the shipping label and then I put it in a box which boxes are expensive so I'm gonna have to figure out a box strategy if you guys know anything about how to get cheaper boxes I bought the FedEx boxes and they ended up being almost as much as one of the items I sold so about some uh, something like that but anyway um I don't remember what I was just saying but I think I was saying something about okay so if it's in the 10 to 20 dollar range I sell it for seven bucks it's cheaper they have to pay for shipping anyway so it comes out to something for them and then if I do it for if it's something that I think is in the five or four if, it, if I think it's in the two to ten dollar range I'll still sell it for seven dollars but I'll give them free shipping on uh, Mercari, that means I end up basically not making anything, but it gets stuff moving. And in this stage, I'm really just trying to figure out why people buy what they buy. So I don't really have, I don't really, I'm not like super in, interested in, in like th like spending all my time to figure out, you know, like let me have this store and let me store it in my room for 60 months while I, you know, tweak the price and I get to price it. I just want things to sell, so I'm making it simple. So we're gonna click sell now. My battery's dying, so let's see if we can do this um, before I get to zero percent. I probably can. So I need a picture of the thing. Okay, so I have not yet taken a picture. So this time, because I'm doing this live, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a picture with um, my MacBook. Okay, instead of using um, a picture that I take myself I'm just gonna use a picture and I've done this before I'm just gonna use a picture from um, from the search results because it's the same thing and then I'll go okay, sell now boom 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 and Mercari all right upload the picture and then not only do I very often take the picture from Google, but I also take the description because I feel as though the description is good. They already wrote it. It's the same item. I didn't make it, you know. I I'm a poet and so I have my own poetry and stuff like that. If, if it was my poetry, I would write the description myself, maybe, but for this, everything's built in. So it's as simple as that. Category, it is a, an action figure. Mercari's super simple, that's why I love it. Um, brand, uh, I don't know what brand it is. What did I do with the actual toy itself? Well, I can always look on Google, let's see. Brand is Savetronics. So the brand is Savetronics. Let's see. I'm just gonna put toy. I thought it was a Skylander at first, because I was like, to me they all look the same. So brand, oh, how do I get Marvel in there? What did the brand say? Savetronics. Savetronics. Boom. It's in new condition. Ships from San Antonio. Uh, yes, free shipping. It's going to be prepaid label. Um, I think it should be zero to one pounds. Uh, I'll choose the FedEx option. Set the price. I think, did they change it to even to Canada? The minimum is five dollars. I don't know how that guy was selling something for three dollars on the minimum is five dollars. Okay, so cool. Now we have everything in there. It's that easy. I just click list. So the person is 
Um, really only because the, sh the shipping is free, so, but they're paying 425 for that, so they're really only paying, um, they're really not paying that much. They're only paying like $2 for it, which is cool for me. I will still double my money, so I don't think it's a bad, uh, I don't think it's a bad deal. It's Christmas time. Maybe someone needs this for their kid. They've been seeing it. They can get it from me. Free shipping. Anyway, that's it. So that's how I go about the whole buying and selling from a garage sale. This has been an episode of um, Getting Gary V. Maybe I'll do an episode where I tell you about, I update you on the selling process, but who knows. Um, when I put this um, thing out there that I was going to do this whole Getting Gary V thing, you know, someone commented on the very first page and they were like, um, something, something, and then I ended up telling them, like, I'm gonna get it done within, I think I said nine months, and so we're, like, halfway through that, or a little bit more, and so, um, he wrote the date in there, which is so cool, so it said March something, 2019, and, um, so, yeah, this has been my, like, third video, because I'm busy doing a lot of other stuff, but I actually think that my strategy's gotten even better, and the whole point of this was, Hey, like, I bet it's this easy. This guy's spending so much time talking about social media. He's giving out so much good advice. I see how he engages with this community. I could spend a lot of time being weird. But why not just shine more light on stuff that he likes and take some of his advice and make a video? Isn't that the coolest way to get Gary V? And originally this was like a whole part of a three-part strategy. Um... I'm changing the last step. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to go watch other videos. But basically, it was Gary V, Breakfast Club, and then something else. So I'm changing the third one to just... Um, I think it'd be cool to read a poem um, to 10,000 people. I've never done that before. So basically, that's my strategy. First, we get Gary V. Second, we get on The Breakfast Club, which... Those can go in any order, um, and then, actually all these can go in any order, and then I read a poem in front of 10,000 people. And I have a perfect poem for that, it's called 2019, by yours truly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, make sure you subscribe, share, um, if you know Gary Vee personally, um, DM him on Facebook, <laughs> just joking, um, text message him, better yet send him a carrier pigeon, or... No, never mind. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. This is my story. The story of how I met Gary Vee.